Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and today we are back inside of Adobe Photoshop and we are going to be taking a quick look at custom brushes. What that means is we're going to be looking a little bit more in detail into some of the brush settings and showing you guys how you can create your own custom brushes and also using some of the brushes that are inside of Photoshop that you don't have access to straight away. So that's going to be things like textured brushes so if you want some kind of like leaf effect or something like that you can just go ahead and draw it in. Quick example of that would be something like this little brush that I've got here um, underneath it you can see I've got this circular pattern and that kind of thing you can create stuff like that but anyway without further ado let's go ahead and uh, get into it so I'm going to start off by taking a look at some of the windows that we actually have for working with brushes now by default you're not going to have all the complex brush window stuff open so I'm going to show you how to get that so with the brush tool selected if you simply just right click you get like a little basic mini window here with some of our brush settings this is just going to allow us to change the size and the hardness of our brush and then it's just going to let us choose from a few basic presets that we've got here in addition to a couple of recently used ones that I've got at the top here. Now if we actually go all the way up to window and then select brush, um, so if we go to brushes wherever that is, I can't see it at the minute, so brush it's going to open up this window on the right hand side and what this is going to do is it's going to give us access to a whole bunch of extra settings that we can play around with and it also gives us a few more presets. Now bear in mind that we can actually add um, additional brushes into here which we'll be going over in a moment but what I wanted to do quickly is show you how to take one of the existing brushes here, for example this one and then we can then change it with a bunch of other settings. So first things first, you've got your size, which is pretty straightforward. This is pretty much just the thickness of the brush. Um, also, one thing to keep in mind, the little number here underneath each one of these brushes is basically the size. So if you see two brushes that are similar, but just have a different number underneath, the only variation is going to be the size of those brushes. So let's say we take this one here, um, we can increase the size up and down. From here we can also change the hardness which I've explained already, which is pretty much the pressure of the brush on the paper or the surface that you're drawing it on. So taking a look at the little preview at the bottom here, you can see when the hardness, is, not the hardness, when the hardness is down you can see it's quite soft, whereas if I put it all the way up it's really solid and it's acting like you're putting full pressure onto the brush. It's hard to explain, but once you do guide, once you go from hard to soft you will sort of see exactly what I'm talking about there. So for now I'm going to turn this hardness all the way up so we've got a solid brush. From here we've also got access to angle and roundness. Now what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to further change things. So let's go ahead and take a look at the roundness. So with the roundness we can change this either in two ways. We can do it all from here or here so we can make it quite thin if we wanted to and less round. Um, so basically you've got this little diagram here which shows you sort of a preview, not a preview of the brush, but like the roundness of the brush and you can go ahead and change this. And you can see as I make it less round, it's going to be sort of less of a circular tip to it and it's going to make it more like a fountain pen or something like that and it's going to be more like sort of a drawing pen as opposed to a brush. You can use the setting to get the look and the style that you're after. Really you're going to figure out what it's like to use it and why you'd use it with a bit of experimenting. Um, so that's all I can say for that really, just get into that and you can do it. Also, you've got the angle of it. Once again, we can change this in two ways. We can do it using the little preview here, or we could also do it with a numerical value. If you want to drag and rotate, just simply click the little arrow here and then just rotate it. And that is just pretty much going to rotate your brush, just like rotating a pen to get the right angle that you're after, really. Play around with it and you'll understand it a little bit better. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a simple little brush like this for now. And then what I'm going to do is doesn't matter what surface you're drawing on, I'm just going to grab a quick yellow brush here and then I'm going to create a new layer and we can see this brush coming into a little bit more use. So if we go to layer, new layer and then just press OK and then if I go ahead and proceed to draw on here you can see based on the angle it looks a little bit different, it gets thinner and thicker. Um, once again, like I said, just play around with this and you'll sort of get begin to understand what I mean and what some of those values do. Hopefully I have explained it clear enough for you. Anyway, so moving on, you can get a couple more brushes on top of these ones 
that aren't actually shown in the preset panel. Um, so those brushes I'm talking about are things like textured ones for things like leaves, um, that kind of thing, or even like what I've got here in the bottom right. Um, you can do all of that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do before I go into that is I'm going to quickly create a new document um, just so we have some clean space to work on and you can see these brushes come to life. So back inside of my brush panel, like I said, you've got all of these presets here. There's not too many. Um, if you want to, you can add some more and I'll show you how to do that. With the brush tool selected, if you go ahead and right click anywhere in your scene and then just press the little cog icon here, you can see that we can add in a bunch of different brushes. So for example, you've got your natural brushes, your special effects brushes, um, thick heavy brushes, wet media brushes. You have got loads and loads of different brushes in here that you can use. So let's say you want to add on some natural brushes. You just go ahead and click that or DP brushes. Let's just go ahead and add some of those. If we press OK, we get this little window. Now, before you do press OK, you need to understand which each of these options are going to do. It's quite important. If we was to simply just press OK, what this would do is it would actually replace all of my current brushes with the new ones. We won't have access to all these basic brushes anymore. So what I'm saying is if you want to add them on, just simply add them in addition to the ones you've got already, you would press append and from there you can see the scroll, gar scroll bar got a little bit bigger and we can scroll down. We've got all the normal ones and then we've got a couple of new ones. For example, we've got some like sparks. Um, I think there's usually like a leaf one in here somewhere, um, but there's a whole bunch of new brushes that we can play around with. We can then go and add a couple more in there. So if we right click, go into here and then add some natural brushes, press append again and it will add it on and we get these really, really natural effects, which is quite nice. And using these is simple as just simply clicking them. You've got the little preview here so you can see what it looks like. So let's say I go with this little spark one here. I can then draw it in and it looks just like that, just like a little spark and it's quite nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly change the color here and I'm going to change this to a blue and make it look a bit more like a spark. Now I think this is a bit too thick so all I would simply do is just change um, a few things. So if you wanted to you could change the roundness um, to rotate them a little bit. You could change the angle if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. Um, you can change the spacing to make it look like a big zoom sort of effect when you're painting it on. Um, or you could even increase the spacing so it's a little bit more further apart, little blotches like that. There's loads of things that you can do with these guys. Just go ahead and play around with them. There's loads of different effects. I'm pretty sure you can also download some other brushes on the internet and install them into Photoshop for yourself to use, but that is going to be entirely for another video. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm going to end off the video for now. I hope you have enjoyed using custom brushes. You can have loads of fun with these. You don't have to limit yourself to sparks. You've got things Things like flames, um, leaves, um, all kinds of different effects. Just play around with them and I can promise you you'll have a bunch, a whole load of fun. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.